Hey everybody, welcome back to J-Bob and Sons. Today I'm opening up some Hidden Fates tins. Looking for, as always, the shiny Charizard. Shown here. This is the chase card of this set. And it's still, in the month of June, selling for near, nearly $1,000 in a PSA 10 condition. Guys, check out this trick right here. It's taken me a long time to figure out how to get the promo card out, but that is how you do it right there. This is a fun set. The promo card, I, I typically only buy Charizard. Uh, there's different artwork on the front of the tin. I usually only buy the Charizard tin just because of this promo card that up until very recently, I, I, I wasn't sure how to get it out of the plastic without messing it up, but that's the trick I just showed you there. This thing is a beauty. Uh, I'm going to get it graded and um, I have a stack of them because I've been buying a bunch of these tins. I'm going to send all of these Charizard promos to PSA for grading because there's some inherent value in them as well. And um, and over time, a lot of these promo cards end up becoming very, very valuable. So um, I just looked at prices right now at PSA 10, almost 45 bucks. So nearly the price of one of these tins in just that card, which is amazing to me. So again, what we're chasing for, if you guys are new, um, I, I do things a little differently. There's a card trick that a lot of people do with Pokemon cards. So uh, you get your hit at the last card, but boom, I don't do that. Um, here's a cool Darkrai GX Full Art Shiny. So th this is like the shiny card, um, the full art that you're looking for. You want to hit it, you want to hit that Charizard, but this is a nice card uh, worth uh, a decent amount in a PSA 10. And so I have a theory about doing the card trick where you put like a two or three cards in the back so that your last card is your best card uh, when you're going through the stack. But you know, in a world where we're trying to get these cards graded and trying to get that PSA 10, I feel like the extra, um, you know, touching them a little bit longer and uh, sort sifting through and sorting them, I just have this idea that maybe that potentially could damage the cards. So I don't even go there. I just start. I just go through the stack, and um, usually the the best card is there in the middle. So anyway, that's just how I do it. Just if you were wondering, here's a nice hollow, um, hollow energy, and then we got the Misty's Water uh, Command. So that's a hollow hollow card. Pretty cool. So worth a couple bucks. Um, not sure if I get that one graded, but for sure the full art uh, GX cards and secret rares are the ones I'm going to go for. So I hope you, um, if you're new to Pokemon and it's the first time you've seen this, this is this. They have different releases. This product's called Hidden Fates, um, and you get these amazing cards. Like look at this card full of these birds. You got Moltres and Zapdos. This is a GX card in a PSA 10. It's about a twenty dollar card right now, um, and then a Star U Reverse Hol Hollow card. Now, I'm relatively new to Pokemon. Uh, you may notice that my son's not uh, also narrating on this one. Um, my son's kind of over this Hidden Fates product, and he's interested in some of the other things that we've pulled recently, and, we'll, and I'll upload those videos soon too with him on it. But man, I am su super addicted trying to find that, that shiny Charizard, so that's what I'm doing uh, with this video. So that's my tin number one, and these are the two uh, probably biggest hits I got from it. So. Um, all right, let's do next, let's do one more tin. I have two of them again, both of them with Charizard uh, artwork on the promo card, and uh, we'll get into this one. So, <clears throat> I'm I'm almost as addicted uh, to opening my own Hidden Fates uh, product as I am watching others, and so <laughs> I was uh, watching uh, the Millennial Collector. Um, and, and he's got a really cool channel, you guys. So I just want to give a big shout out to him. Um, he's doing really great work. His content's amazing. And I think I was just last night. Oh, here's the trick again to get this promo card out without screwing it up. Boop! There you go. That's how you get that thing out with minimal. Did you get minimal damage of that promo card? And like I said, some of these promo cards can be pretty valuable. But anyway, you guys, check out the Millennial Collector. Um, uh, maybe I'll flash up his, what his uh, what his YouTube channel it looks like here on this video. Um, he's doing great work. You should get over there and check him out, uh, especially if you like uh, Pokemon card openings. Boom! And check out this Reshiram GX. This is a $50 card and rising in a PSA 10 condition. 
So some of these full art uh, Pokemon shiny cards that you get in Hidden Fates, I mean, they're for one, they're just gorgeous, and the light just catches them. They have the texture to them. They're beautiful cards. Uh, some of them are quite valuable already. I really think this set, Hidden Fates, also Burning Shadows, which is a recent uh, release, I really feel like these two sets will be sort of iconic as far as like popularity um, just because of these uh, chase cards that they put in making us all want to go fun. Here's another holographic energy card which is really cool so I'm trying to collect all those. And then we got I think Golem as my non hollow rare card for this pack. So. And uh, yeah, if you're new to the Pokemon card, you, you know, it, you don't get like a really sweet card every pack. Sometimes you get the rare card and it's non-holographic. Uh, sometimes those are worth a lot in themselves, uh, but not always. Here's Arbok. This is a, a reverse holo. And here's a really cool Eevee holo. Uh, tons of Eevee fans out there. So uh, that's a really cool card. Uh, you know, I might actually consider getting that one graded just because there's so many Eevee fans. If that came out as a PSA 10, it's probably like a $20 card. All right, so uh, we have the last pack here. We got Pikachu on top, Magikarp, Coughing, Clefairy, Staryu, and uh, Ink, Inke. Uh, that's a shiny. That's But bam, check it out. I got the Moltres Zapdos GX in a secret rare. So I pulled the regular GX of that bird card, and now I got the secret rare. Uh, you know, I've opened up quite a few of these tins. Sometimes you only get just the box, uh, you know, the box shiny card, like that Inkle. Um, it's not every day you get like all these nice full arts like this, especially a secret rare. I'm very excited about this, guys. Probably one of the better pulls of my uh, quest to find <laughs> that shiny charge art. So, uh, just to recap, uh, hope you enjoyed the video. I did have that going through like uh, a little faster. Just I wanted to get through two tins in less than 10 minutes. So hope, hopefully you enjoy that format. Let me know. So here's the Darker Eye GX. So here are my hits. Uh, just beautiful card. Um, uh, then the Reshiram GX, another just gorgeous card. We got the, uh, and, and yeah, if you look at the corners of these, uh, so like I said, I don't, I don't do the card trick. I just get them out and into sleeves as fast as I can. We got the Moltres Zapdos. Um, these, the, these, I have it in the regular GX full art. Um, well, it's just the regular GX, okay, and then hollow, and then we have the uh, full art uh, secret rare. So I'm pretty excited. These, these are two that I did not have. Um, and um, in fact, my son and I were looking at our binder. We actually have the Japanese version of this card in, in just the regular form. Uh, so it's really cool to have pulled it. And then we have the Ink Inke uh, Shiny. So that's, those are always fun to get. And then a couple of those holographic uh, energy cards. Um, and then just a couple other hollows like this Eevee, which I really like. Uh, Arbok, which is a, I think a rare uh, reverse and Misty's Water Command. So thank you so much for watching you guys. I hope you enjoyed this and come back for the next one.